Tell us a little bit about what we should expect out of the Lions this fall. Uh, a, a good product of football on the field. A well-coached team. Uh, truly not trying to put expectation, numerical goals. Only thing we just progressively want to get better. And like I said, we've always been a well-disciplined team. But like I said, we have 13 starters coming back. Never had that in my six years here. We have two major Division One prospects. Numbers are still low, but it's a it's a well coached unit. So most important thing that you will see a better product of football on the field. Tell me a little bit about those two prospects. Both committed to South Alabama, right? Yeah, yes, sir. You have uh, Roger McQuarrie, athlete that plays everything for us, and uh, you have Jamal uh, Hickbottom who played both ways too, but all state linebacker from last year. So you got really two kids on both sides of the ball that really gets after it. What's got to happen this year to, uh, to get this program back in the playoffs? Um, just following the process. And like I said, the process consists of player accountability, personal accountability, and coach accountability. If you have accountability across the board, that means you, you, you do what you're supposed to do, you're where you're supposed to be. So those small things playing a part, I think that we could get back there because with the de the depth is always going to be an issue, but the returning starters, that old line averaging about two seventy five, been together for three years. So, Daz, I I I I think I don't want to say I think, but I limit expectations now because sometimes you set those, and when it don't happen, it deflates you. But we just came up with the all season just being accountable. So if you practice well you do well in the classroom, that would produce a good football team. Very good. And you mentioned the numbers. I know that's always a struggle here. Where are you at number-wise? 40. Which is that's actually up a little bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, up. But out of them 40, you're really about 25. So we, we got a seven-game a seven game JV schedule. So, and I just think the flow and I just think the process of Really, what really killed us is that I really, truly never had the help. That's what it was. It was not really just kids. Because sometimes if you look at all the teams that win the state championship, they are not the most talented team, but they are the most well-coached team. So with the help that I have this year, it made things a lot easier on me for being the AD at the high school, the middle school, doing all this. Because I really take that aspect of of, uh, of my job as the athletic director, I really hold that with, you know, dear regards. That sportsmanship award means uh, means a lot to me. Like I said, we won three straight years. We missed it this year by a room test. We could have made history with, with four in a row. But, but it will be a better product of football on the field.